Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing my Etsy paycheck. Thank you so much to everyone who has purchased anything from my Etsy shop. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate your support. So let's go ahead and start with this cash stuffing. I do have some extra money from Lux Designs. So if you use my code, IAPLANS10, you get 10% off your order and I get a small commission. So I have some money from that, which is right here. And then I have some money from Katie from the Fancy Dollar. She sent me $35 for Starbucks, which, oh my gosh, she did not have to do that. And I literally thank you so much, Katie, for doing that. So I also have that, but I've spent some of it, but I'm going to stuff it in my Starbucks envelope anyway because I need to do an unstuffing. So when I do my unstuffing, I'll take the money out. So, because when I went to Starbucks, I didn't, I left this cash at home and I just used my card. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the front. I'm not going to combine it yet. So, um, let's go ahead and start with my bills binder. So for my bills binder, um, I'm not going to stuff any bills. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been combining my Etsy income with my part-time job income, but this time I got a bonus from my part-time job. So we're getting quarterly attendance bonuses this year, which is so awesome. I wish I could have used the bonus towards like just savings or whatever I wanted, but it had to go towards like, you know, groceries and things like that, which is fine because it made my paycheck like more than it would have been. So, um... I'm not using my Etsy paycheck, like I'm not combining it with my part-time job income since I did get that bonus and my paycheck was fine. So my Etsy income will just be for just other envelopes that I wouldn't normally get to stuff. Hopefully that makes sense. But we are going to stuff, where is my fees envelope? Okay, right here. So this is for when we move out and we have to pay like fees to get stuff fixed in our apartment because like um, if you don't clean well enough, they charge you. Um, our carpet's a little bit mangled in some corners because Milo has been um, scratching it. So um, the carpet will have to pay for that, but we're not planning on moving anytime soon. It's just like when the time comes, we don't want to be surprised by like that payment so fees is getting five and now it has 15 so I've just been putting five dollars here and there it's not a priority and five dollars is a good small amount so um that's gonna be it for this binder next I'm moving on to let's do my wallet because I'm stuffing Starbucks and I have that money from Katie that I want to put in here also. So for coffee, I put 14. So that's two fives. Let's get some crusty bills. So that's two fives and four ones. Okay, and then I, so I budgeted 14, that'll get me two drinks. Then Katie so kindly gave me $35. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So a lot of this is gonna be unstuffed later, but I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 49 in coffee. I think like 42 of that has to get unstuffed. Okay, because I was kind of going to Starbucks when I didn't have the money for it, but that's all right. Okay, we're gonna go into this binder. So in here, we are going to stuff home. So home is getting 15. This is just like stuff around my apartment that I want. Um, I do have a home decor envelope, so it's everything except for home decor. So now I have 10, 15, 20. Next is date night, which is getting five. So now date night has 10. 
long day is getting $10. This is for when I come back from vacation and I don't want to grocery shop or meal plan. So we're just going to get like easy, quick food. So long day has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 25. So 125 in long day. And then after my vacation and like we use this, we may not use all of it. The rest is going to stay in here and then we use this envelope for like if we're both like working and tired and we come home and it's late and we just want to get food out but we have no money in our spending envelope then we'll come to this envelope so next is rainy day which is getting five so now rainy day has ten Next is groceries. This is for when I'm on vacation and this is just for one week. Um, so May 24th is actually a payday, but I'll be gone and I don't want to have to worry about that. So I'm gonna leave my paycheck in my account until I get back, but I stuff groceries normally. So I'm just putting some money in here for Logan to get groceries because I'm gonna use my paycheck when I get back for other things like the bills. So, um, that's getting five, so now I have 25. Next is gas, so gas is getting 30. This is for when I come back from vacation because um, I'll be gone for two weeks and that two weeks happens to be like the same two weeks on the payroll. So when I get paid on June 7th, my paycheck will literally be zero dollars. So, um, yeah, I'm going to need gas money at least. So I'm putting $30 in here. And that is all for um, this binder. Next, I'm going to do sinking funds. So the first envelope is car maintenance which is getting five. So car maintenance now has 100, 20, 30, 35, 40, 140. Next up is Christmas, which is getting five. So I made each of these trees on my tracker worth $5 because I didn't know how much I was gonna be able to stuff. And I thought $5 was a good like small amount. So once I complete this tracker, I'm gonna start it over again because it only, if you do it by fives, it'll only get you up to $140. And I want more than that in Christmas. So I already have 100 in the bank and I'm adding five. So now I have 105. Next is Japan, which is getting 15. 10, 15. So my mom told me not to worry about spending money in Japan. Like I'm gonna bring my own money anyway. Thanks mom. But um, I do wanna get a lot of stationery and planner stuff when I'm there. So I might use this for that. So now Japan has 100, 200, 220, 230, 235, 240. And then if I don't use like all of it, then it'll be um, kept in here for the next time I go. Next is anniversary, which is getting five. Our anniversary isn't until January, but we didn't have money to go anywhere fun for our anniversary, so I'm starting to save up now. So now it has $10. And that's all for this binder. Next is my personal binder. So we're gonna go to hair, which is getting 10. So now hair has $15. Skincare is getting five. So now skincare has 10, 15, 20. And my envelope for Logan is getting $10. I'm saving up for his birthday, which is in August. So now I have 50, 70, 80. Beauty is getting $5. This is just for like makeup. 
So Beauty now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, let's go to Classroom, which is getting five. Somebody asked me what Classroom was for. So I'm an elementary education major. So when I get my own classroom, I need to have money for that. So um, now it has $10. I've had some money in here, but I kind of spent it. It was just like $10. I spent it on something for my kids at work, which that's not really what this envelope is for, but I just pulled it from there because I didn't have any any other category to pull from. So yeah, but this is going to be like my sinking fund for my classroom. And that's going to be all for this binder. Next, we're going to do my business binder. So, inventory is getting $60. Um, I'm running low on some things, so I need to go buy a few things on Amazon. So now, inventory has 50, 60, 65, 6, 7. 67. Next is office supplies. I'm putting $20 in here for printer ink. I have a laser jet. It's very expensive ink. So I need somewhere to put that. So like when I run out, I'm not scrambling for money. So that just has $20. Equipment is getting five. Somebody drew on this bill. Um, this is for a new tripod to film because mine is like broken and I want a new one. So I have 20, 45. This money has been in here for a while. I just haven't gotten around to actually buying it. Canva Pro is getting $5. I have the annual subscription, which is due in September. So Canva Pro now has 50, 60, 65, and $70. I only need like 50 more, I think. So that's good. Next is YouTube, which is getting five. I honestly don't know why I budgeted five for this. I don't, I think I was planning on something, but I can't remember now. But yeah, um, taxes is getting 163. So we have 150, 60, 1, 2, 3. I'm definitely gonna be able to switch this out for a 500 placeholder. So I have 1,000 in the bank. I have these $400 placeholders. And then I have all this cash, so. So now taxes, this is for Etsy and YouTube combined. So I have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400. So 1,400 in the bank, 500. So I could use, I could put this in the bank. I should have kept it in the bank and put a placeholder, but I'll do that in another video. Um, 100, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 201. So, Oh my gosh, how much is that? This is 1,500. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 101. So 1,601, I think. Hopefully that's right. Okay, so that is all for this binder. Oh, I forgot to... Um, put some money in my credit card um envelope okay so I have this money from Lux Designs so I don't know what I want to do with some of it but $60 is going in my credit card envelope 20 40 60 so Logan and I went to Olive Garden and I used my credit card to purchase that so um this is going back to that and then I don't know what I want to do with this money yet, but I do have some saving challenges to stuff um, these bills with. So let me do that first while I kind of think about the other money. So let's start with 100 envelope. For 100 envelope, we will be stuffing envelope number 23. We are moving along with this challenge, just 
slowly, but that's okay. So 21, two, three. I can't wait till we're done with this so we can buy our sectional finally. We've had a love seat for like the, how long have we been living together? Like almost four years. It'll be four years in August that we've been living together and we've had a, a love seat the whole time and our apartment is bigger now. And we have been living here for two years in October, no, two years in December. So it's about time. So let me put this back. All right, going to my saving challenges. So $500 saving challenge is getting $5. This is to pay my own savings back from a, a long time ago. I just never did it. So let's color in a five dollar circle. This is available on my Etsy shop. Okay, we are adding five. So now in here I have 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay, can't wait to do this one. This is super fun. This is a roll the dice challenge also available on my Etsy. So the last, actually no, I forgot to roll on camera in a video. So I did it off camera. So I'm stuffing $22 in here, 20, 21, 22. So I rolled the dice to see how many times I needed to roll like for the amount and it was five. So I got these numbers. So I'm gonna color in the dice that go with those dollar amounts. So the first one is four. So here's a four. The next one is a five. The next one is a four. And then a five. And a four. Okay. So I really like this one. Um, it's super fun. So 20, 21, 22. So now that means I have to roll right now to see what I will be stuffing um, in my next cash stuffing, which I think I'm only going to do this challenge with my side income. Okay, so I'm going to roll to see how many times like I'm going to roll for like the amount, if that makes sense. So, oh, it's only two, which that's okay. These are low denominations anyways, but I put on the back that like to do bigger denominations, instead of one, you can do 10, two is 20, three is 30 and so on. So, okay, I'm gonna do twice. So I got a five, so that's $5 and one. So next time I will be doing six dollars total moving on to mini savings mini savings is getting four dollars one two three four so now in here i have 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17. this is also available on my etsy and for this one i think it's a total saved of $140. I think with this I'm gonna buy a new flat iron because I've had mine for so long. And when I went to go get my hair cut at Ulta, um, she showed me some flat irons and they have like temperature, um, like gauges kind of like, so you can set the temperature and mine doesn't have that. And I, I think I really need that because mine is probably getting like way too hot. And um, yeah, so I, I plan on using this money for that. That is it for this binder, but I'm also stuffing my 52 envelope challenge from Lux Designs. So here's my 52 envelope challenge. It does not come with this box. This box is available on Amazon. Everything is linked down below in the description box, but these envelopes and this tracker is from Lux Designs. So you can use my code IAPLANS10 for 10% off your order. Please consider using my code. I get a small commission if you do, and it really helps me out. So um, yeah, I love her stuff. 
So this is getting $5. $5. So I'm going to fill in number five. This one is going to go towards like when it's completed. It's going to go towards either car maintenance or emergency. I haven't decided which one. So right now I have three, five, and ten done. So that's my 52 envelope. I have this money right here. So let's go to my personal binder. Um, I might put $10 in Starbucks because my Starbucks is going to get unstuffed. Like that 40 some dollars is all gone already. So I think I'm going to add $10 into here. So now I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I just keep this in here like separate from my wallet just so I don't, like if it's in my wallet, I will go spend it. So I just keep this in here. Um, planning has 15. I have one. Oh, I was gonna add the six into Starbucks cause like my drink is like $6 and some change. Instead of the 10, let's do six. Okay, so now I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. Okay, that's better. Um, planning, let's put 10 dollars in here. So now I have 10, 20, 25. Books, I don't need any more books. I have a whole stack that I have to read still. Target, Amazon has 10. There's some things on Amazon I wanted, but hmm, I don't know. Um, maybe classroom, star notes, clothing. I just bought a whole bunch of new clothes, but I've been on like a clothing kick and like new shoes. I have two left. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put 10 in clothing. So now it has 20. And then the other 10 in classroom. Okay, so now classroom has 10, 25, 30, or 10, 15, 20. Oh my goodness. Okay, and that is all for this cash stuffing video. I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.